Greetings Groovers, I hope you're well. Here we are down at the field. Um, it's a bit of a mess down here at the lower end. I cut down a load of trees that were here among the brambles. Um, anyway, there's a bit of a mess right at the moment but at some point the brambles will be dry enough to burn and uh, I shall start clearing away these trees today by seeing what I can uh, rescue. For example, this one has five or six feet. A cord, woodsmen call that. That's uh, good firewood, I would think. And over there might be a couple of poles on those trees. So see what we can rescue. And it's a good excuse to get the chainsaw out. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah. So you can see some of those trees are quite chunky. I didn't chop them down with a chainsaw, no. I chopped them down with this thing. Let me explain why and I'll show you how. So I've got a couple more trees to get down here. Um, so I'm, I'm killing these trees and if I used a chainsaw, I would just be coppicing them they would grow back with multiple stems. Um, I want to kill these trees because this is going to be meadow again and these trees have grown up while I've been neglecting the meadow. So here's an example. It's an oak that's got quite chunky and killing them um, you chop them off below ground level if you can uh, and you can't use a chainsaw for that it just kills chainsaws any kind of dealing with earth is really bad for them so I use this thing um, yeah so you can chop down small trees using a reciprocating saw that's what this is called um, yeah so let me show you a bit of that and then I'll show you another use for the thing Oak is hard. Cooling off the blade. And then, this is glyphosate. Put some of that on, it'll be absorbed into the root system, killing the plant. 
So that's how you can take down small trees. Maybe you can even take down big ones. I don't know. Probably not. There's probably better ways for that. The other thing I use a reciprocating saw for is, let me show you, digging up bramble roots. So yesterday I was working this corner. I got a nice pile here of bramble roots, what I has dug up. Uh, let me show you how that works. Here you go, things like this. Look, there's a live leaf on there, and this. So this is a good way to get rid of those. And by removing the... Uh, Yeah, by removing the root hub. You take away the energy store and hopefully knock the thing entirely. Pull up the roots if you can. And there you go. I'm finding a reciprocating saw very useful. Uh, there you go, something like 60 quid from your uh, DIY shed. I need a battery. You might get away with a corded one. Um, yeah, this big battery costs like 30 odd quid and lasts 20 something minutes. But it's enough uh, for me to chop down six trees a day, dig up. 30 odd bramble roots a day, it's all good. So I'm gonna crack on with that and you are gonna go and be really good to yourself. Okay, gonna do something nice for you. Mm. See ya, bye.